Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your Garmin Vinu SQ. Now this should work whether you have the regular SQ edition or the SQ music like I do. So the first thing, if you haven't turned it on yet, there are two buttons on the side here. You will press and hold this top button for a few seconds and you should see a blue Garmin triangle logo. And after a few seconds, their little intro animation should appear. And then after that, you should have this list of scrolling languages appear on your screen. So if you're at that point, let's go ahead and continue on. So I'm going to touch the screen here. And it goes ahead and tells me I have 67% battery currently. And it has a list of languages here. So you can actually scroll up and down to find the language you would prefer to set your watch up in. I'm going to scroll back to English and tap on that. Now it says pair with phone and it has a green check or a red X. So the interesting thing here is to get the full feature set for your Garmin Venue SQ, you will need to connect it with a compatible smartphone. However, it looks like if you press this X, you can actually do kind of a quick start and just get started without connecting, but you probably will need to pair your phone later. So I'm just going to show you what this process is like. I'm curious. I've never really had a wearable that could be used without setting it up first. So I'm curious to see what Garmin has in store here. So if you want to skip ahead to pairing with your phone, I'll note that on the screen here, which uh, timestamp you can jump ahead to, but for everyone else who's curious, um, I'm going to go ahead and tap this red X. And it says, let's get started. Select your options. So now it pops up gender. And it looks like we have the stereotypical blue for males and pinkish for females. I am a female, so I'll tap on that, but you can tap on whichever is your biological sex here. So I'll tap on female. You can choose your units, statute, or metric. I believe <laughs> United States is called statute. I might have to look that up though. All right, so I just looked this up and it says statute gives distance in miles, elevation in feet, temperature in Fahrenheit, while metric gives distance in kilometers, elevation in meters, and temperature in Celsius. So as an American, I'm going to choose statute, but you can make your selection here. They want you to enter your birth year. I assume this has to do with estimating your caloric burn and maybe some of their other features. So I'll go ahead and enter my birth year. And I believe you can tap the check mark here. Yeah. They want you to enter your height. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> the touch screen is a little oversensitive, so. Go ahead and you can scroll up and down on either of these sides and once you've entered your height go ahead and ch check mark and then you can enter your weight again scrolling up and down. Uh, I would rather not reveal my weight here on YouTube so I'm just going to keep it at the default. And you can choose which wrist you're going to be wearing it on so go ahead and tap which side and also your clock format. So do you want the regular 12 hour AM PM format or do you want 24 hour military time? So that's a nice feature here. I prefer 12 hour format. All right, auto set time and date with GPS. So this unit does have GPS built in, whether you have the music version or not, they both have GPS. So you can auto set the time and date. I'll go ahead and say yes to that. So it's waiting for GPS. I am inside, so this will be interesting to see how long this takes and if it is successful. I'm going to see if I can use the back button to go back and enter this manually instead. Yep, all right. So if you get to that point and you can't figure out how to get GPS to work there, uh, go ahead and push the bottom of the two buttons on the side here, it'll go back to the previous screen. So instead of auto setting, I'll go ahead and tap the X here 
and enter my local time, which is 5.28 p.m. Wow, this touch screen is very touch sensitive. That's good and bad. <laughs> Getting used to it. This is my first time using it, so hopefully I'll get more used to it. All right, so it actually just went to 29, so just there we go. Then I'll tap on the check mark here. And the current year, no, it is not 2020, thank goodness anymore. 2021. And the current month is April, so that would be the fourth. Okay. And the current day is the 28th, I believe. Let me double check. Yeah. All right, so I'll check that. 5.30 p.m. on April 20th, 2021. Setup is complete. So there's the clock face. So that was actually a relatively quick setup. Didn't have to do anything with a phone or an app. I'm curious to know. Yeah, so it's giving us the put autofocus back on here. Giving us the watch face here. Let's see what else I can do. I swipe up, it gives me my day. We have some stats here. These are all the little widgets. So yeah, if you want to have any of these features, calendar requires a phone connection. Just stopped uh, scrolling for some reason. Interesting, it just froze up on me. Never experienced that before. Oh, and I guess we're back. So let me scroll up this time. Select your music source. I'm pretty sure you have to be connected to your phone for that. That looks like music controls. There we go. So to get notifications, you need a phone whether you need a phone, and then we're back to that calendar. So I think I can just do back button to get the, yeah. So it looks like if I press the top button, yeah, and you can set up your activity favorites. So it looks like you can actually do quite a bit without connecting it to your phone. Say walk and strength and yoga. I don't see a hike. Or did I miss it? Yeah, no hike, I guess. Just say. Huh. I guess you just move on. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Can I start a walk? So, you can either wait for a GPS or since that's not going to happen. Probably just, ooh, <laughs> there we go. So you can actually start recording. That's actually a pretty nice feature. I think all wearables should probably have this, including Fitbit and Apple Watch, where you can actually just go ahead and get quickly set up, enter some information manually, and then later, if you want to save your data to your phone, you can do that. I wonder, yeah, I'll go ahead and discard this. Yeah, got it. All right. So that's just kind of showing you that you indeed can set this up without a phone. I did not use a phone at any point in that process, except for to check what time it was. <laughs> um, but I believe if you want to set it up with a phone to get those extra features, they say you press and hold the bottom button here and click on the little settings cog. Let me put autofocus back off. All right, tap on the settings cog. Then I believe there should be phone. There we go, pair phone. So now it's basically telling me I need to go ahead and go back to the uh, Garmin app and whatnot. So 
I'm actually going to do a real quick check and see if I can factory reset this. Just in case you don't want to go through this process, I want to show you what it's like if you didn't try to set it up without your phone first. So let me push this little back button. System. And reset. So I'm going to see if that works. Reset default settings, delete data and reset settings. So I'm going to go ahead and say delete data and reset settings. And it's going to let me tap. There we go. This restores default settings and clears all data such as activities and music. This might not do what I expect, but I'll go ahead and say yes. All right, so we've got the Garmin Triangle logo here. Should be resetting. I'm hoping it comes back on the little startup screen, but I am glad that I investigated the non-phone setup first. All right, so here we are indeed. We are back at the initial factory reset setup screen. So I might actually break this into a separate video then. So let me go ahead and end this video here. If you would like to see me do the entire setup video with a phone, go ahead and check out the video linked on the screen here. If you found it helpful to see that you could set this up without your phone, please give this video a thumbs up down below as it really helps this video and my channel. And consider subscribing as I'll be doing a lot more Garmin Venue related wearable videos in the future. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.